I think now is a good time to talk about what I learned in the past year. Uh, different changes in me. One thing was I learned that men and women aren't different. The way people normally talk about each other, there are females that are obsessed with sex and there are males that are obsessed with love. And truly, each of us like them both. We are all born as humans, and thus we pretty much share exactly the same set of emotions from the beginning. That is, that is, that is, that is the only essence there is, that we are born pretty much the same. Males experience the same emotions as females do and vice versa. When people act like we don't, I don't, I don't, I don't believe so. So that's enough for that. Over the past year I've become, now this isn't the perfect word for it, but more compassionate. Previously, I was much more uh, only thing that comes to mind is neoconservative. More like, yeah, the military. Throw the military into everything. They can do it. Uh, people are tough. Uh, guns, killing people isn't that bad. It happens every day. So what? Uh, suffering in life, in animals, and plants, and people. You'll get through it. But in the past year, I still maintain a distance from empathy and from, I, I see a lot of people, this has been a long time I've thought this, that I don't, I don't, I just don't get along or I don't like people that have an overdeveloped sense of empathy. It would be a nice way of saying it. People that empathize with anything and live according to their emotions in that way. And they, worse yet, oftentimes they think they're better for doing that. I'll tell you a story pretty soon. That's related to compassion, something I did in June when I was in Anaheim. And I've got video of it I can use. Not much, but part of this people project I'm doing. I didn't mean to bring politics into this, and it, has, it really has nothing to do with this. But finally, with compassion, I'm much more of a pacifist now. Than I was last year. A lot more. I think maybe that's just what I should have said at the beginning. Pacifism. And it's just when I see people acting violently or when they lie about something just because they want to preserve something in the very short term. I just think, why would you do that? Why would you do that? There is, why would you do that? Don't give me an answer in the comments. I know, okay, say whatever you want, nothing. Over the past year, I've become much more obsessed with travel than I was before. I think most of that is because I can travel. I'm becoming the age and the experience and the knowledge which I can travel. When I was 15, I was thinking, man, I'm going to be a world traveler. I'm going to go out there in the world all by myself, go through Pakistan and Brunei and Bhutan I mean, that's just not very probable. 
but as I become 18, 21, 25, 30, I'll be much more capable of doing so. And thus, we have projects, the Great North American Road Trip, and the trip, the the trip, the trip of a lifetime, the trip of 10,000 lifetimes. The last and most important thing that I learned this year was that relationships are what makes a life rich. If you think of the most intense moments of happiness in your entire life, chances are nearly all of them will be a shared experience with other people. And it's difficult to create and move towards these experiences and build these relationships. But it's difficult for everybody to make the true, sincere ones that are so much wanted by everyone. And the fox said to the prince, it is the time that you have spent with the rose that makes the rose so important. There are 10 million other roses on this earth, but yours is important. 